Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Epson XP410. Uh, what you can do if your one day your printer display that uh, a part of your printer service life is up, and uh, contact Epson for support. What happened is uh, whenever you print, uh, you do the print that cleaning. Epson could dump some waste ink into uh, something called a waste pad. And uh, they were going to talk about. I'm going to put a little uh, link to this page here. Uh, here, so you can see which part they're talking about. They talk about uh, the waste ink pad. And uh, once this pad is full, uh, Epson is going to stop you from printing and ask you to go to a Epson authorized uh, dealer. So uh, on this page, you can click authorized dealer. And you can put your product name and uh, do a search. Then you can search up your location name, and uh, you're going to find a bunch of dealers. And uh, I bet none of them is close to your home, and uh, they're going to charge you arm and legs. Because this is considered wear and tear, it's not covered by your warranty. So instead of uh, sending your printer into those expensive repairs, let me show you how to do it. If for ten dollars, so you go to uh, this website called Inkchip.net and uh, go to WIC, and then don't pay anything yet. Coming down, and then make sure your model is covered. XP four ten, perfect. So click English. Uh, Sometimes your antivirus or anti spam work on you uh, have a false uh, positive to delete this. You can see it's going to install in the C program file of Inkchip WIC. And uh, after you go through the installation, you can see I have this uh, pop up window. If I go to C and the program files, go to Inkchip WIC. You won't find uh, an EXEF file that you downloaded because it's uh, been deleted by the Norton. So we need to bring up Norton and take a look at the history. And we click Restore. Say yes. Of course, you're going to avoid this trouble if you disable your Norton for a few minutes that you're using the software. You can say put this application back. Now we can open, click open it. And you should be able to see your printer on the drop down menu. And that's why I told you earlier that do not buy it before you see this. And also click read. If it cannot read your ink tank, it cannot reset it. So it now can read uh, the ink tank level and uh, we're ready to buy it. Oh, by the way, there are other uh, companies can do this, but I keep using Inkchip. And there are two reasons. One is uh, uh, their key is super, super cheap. And uh, if you are high, uh, a high volume user, you can get uh, like five keys for uh, $6. And the second one is they have really good uh, contact support. So uh, not many companies, they put in their Telegram and uh, Weber link here so you can talk to them directly and uh, they'll be really nice to me and uh, solve lots of my problems that's why I recommend them so um, next thing is uh, I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna click buy and here's a little bit confusing they sell other things such as a cheaply solution for ink jazz and also for laser printers and the WIC is just one of the program they sell so you have to go come down to find a WIC program. So uh, today I just need one key for uh, for ten dollars. So uh, if next time I need five keys, I can I can, I can click five. So add to card, and uh, then we're gonna check out. And now can uh, instead of uh, read, uh, we click reset, and uh, we're gonna paste uh, the key. You just copy and paste. Say OK. And it's done. Please restart the printer. And after you restart it, the printer will go back to life again. I'm going to put a link to the ink chip uh, in the description of this video. OK, let me show you if you have uh, 10 more dollars, what you can do. We're going to install an uh, external ink tank into this printer. So 
Uh, next time, the with ink will not go to the with pad. Instead, it's go to a little border. You only need a Phillips screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and there's only one uh, screw to remove. And the ink pad can be taken out. We're using this almost new printer for demonstration, but yours will be super, super dirty and uh, it's all, all soaked with the ink. Here's where the ink comes out. And it's a soft rubber tube. We're going to use uh, some tools from uh, bchtechnologies.com. Uh, again, uh, you don't have to buy those if you have some something that uh, you can retrofit or something you can use. And uh, for today, we we'll go to accessories with tank. It's not a resetter with tank. It's the with tank. And uh, you can see there are a whole bunch of things. Today, we need uh, this guy, a uh, three millimeter to four four millimeter dual connector. This is definitely you're going to need this one. And for the tube, we're going to use a two feet, 2.5 millimeter tube uh, because uh, that small rubber tube is 2.5 millimeter. And uh, also, we're going to use a little bit of Vel Velcro and uh, we're going to use a jar. Or uh, basically, I'm using this whole kit. If you already have a jar or you have tube, you don't have to buy everything. We're going to attach the tube to the connector first. Then you're going to push that connector into the rubber hose. Uh, you're going to worry that the tube is going to go inside or not. And uh, just push straight and push all the way in. It's going to attach securely. Now we can wire the tube through that little gap between the power supply and the case. And put a little piece of tape to secure it. Now you can throw away the old ink pad. You don't need this anymore. Now every time the printer cleans itself, it's going to dump ink into this jar. Uh, once you get uh, the jar is full, just uh, take the jar out and uh, dump in the sink. Use the uh, warm water to uh, wash it clean and put it back. And uh, totally reusable, totally environment friendly. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.